In this video, I'm going to talk about something called anonymous function expressions. You see, this way of creating functions that we looked at the last uh, video in, this is called a function expression. So this contrasts with the other way of creating functions which we saw before, which was function declaration. Okay, so if I were to take this code out and uh, write a function this way, this is a function declaration. And this is a function expression. I don't need the semicolon here where a function declaration, but for a function expression, it's good to have a semicolon because this is just like any other expression, var something equals something. So you add a semicolon at the end. Okay, so these are the two primary ways in which you can create functions. Now this, let me actually get rid of this. Now this we saw was a function expression. And now notice that we are assigning this function to a variable called f and we are uh, using f to execute it. But notice we also have a name foo for this function. And we never use foo, right? We never call this function with foo open close. So since we are using it just with the variable f and with the name f, I don't need this foo here. Actually, I can get rid of this, okay? And this will actually still work. Let me clear and reload and run, and we still get hello printed because we are basically creating a function which doesn't have a name, and we are assigning it to the variable f, and we are using the variable f in order to execute that function, okay? So this way of creating functions is what's called anonymous function expressions, okay? So this was a function expression, okay? So if I remove foo, this is still a function expression, but now I have an anonymous function here. I'm not giving this a name, okay? So this way of creating functions is called an anonymous function expression. And this is fairly common when you have a function expression because you use the function with the variable you've assigned it to and you don't really use the name. So you might as well have it anonymous. The tricky thing about an anonymous function expression is you're basically creating an inline function, just like you create an inline string and then you assign it to a variable. Now, if you assign something else to the variable, now this function will get lost, okay? Now I have f over here, right? Let's say I say f equals uh, one. Now what's gonna happen if I do f open close? Well, this is now no longer gonna work because f is no longer containing a function value, it's containing a number value, okay? So this is gonna give me an error. See here, f is not a function at this line because f has been changed to point to a number value. So this is one drawback of using uh, an anonymous function expressions because you might lose the value that you have, but you don't typically do that. It's, it's you know, you don't want to do this. Uh, if you don't want to have this error, you shouldn't really do this. Okay, so as long as you don't do that, you can, you can get away with anonymous function expressions. And indeed, it is very common in a lot of JavaScript code to have anonymous function expressions.